Hey guys, welcome to my Monday live. All right, let's see. So as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. And looks like we have Dawn on and Dee. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Dawn's from Northern Wisconsin. Woohoo! All right, so I decided everybody was saying they wanted to play around with Painterly. So if you do not know what Painterly is, hello, Stephanie. Painterly is the new paint that Debbie Beard created. So it is uh, an artisan paint and it works like um, how she describes it, like peanut butter and jelly with the clay based paints. So I have some of those. Well, obviously I have all the clay based paints here. Um, and then I have a couple projects we're going to be playing around with. So let's see here. Free Spirit. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miles. Hello, Susan. Thanks for joining. And Penny. Hello. Great to see you guys. So there are 12 different paint colors. And let me, I don't think I talked to you. I don't think I introduced them. My favorite. Actually, I have two favorite. Well, I love them all. But I love Dreamville. It's like this beautiful turquoise green. That's one of my favorites. And we'll use that tonight. Um, I also have, this is my second favorite one. It's called Peacemaker. And again, another like turquoise, oh, I'm going the wrong way, turquoise greenish color. I love it. I love it. <coughs> Hey, Cindy. Hello, Susan, Kim, Brenda. Um, Brenda says, yeah, I made a live. Yeah. All right. So those are like the blue, like uh, the turquoise green colors. Then we have some pinks. This one is called Love Language. Here, let me make sure I'm going the right way. That's Love Language. That one's really pretty. Um, then we have like a softer pink, and this one is called Confection. Let's see, I always have to make sure I'm going the right way. Hey, Terry. Hello, Nancy. Thanks so much for joining. So then there's um, this one. It's called Poetic Pink. So that one's another really pretty color. And this one is kind of like an orangey. This one is very vibrant. Um, it is on the spectrum of, I would have to say, like, almost like a fluorescent -y color. So this one is called Old Flame. That one's really pretty. And then we have a couple yellows. Um, I think Ghosted is absolutely, it's just, like, really light. I say light, but it's, like, the lighter of the two. And then this one is called Glow Up. So those are very, very cool. Then we have, this one's called Extra Electra. I love it. So that's what that one is called. And then we have, so that's like a bluish. Here's another one. This one's called Skylight. Very, very pretty. Let's see here. They're all such beautiful colors. I have Difficult time picking a favorite. I know. Hi there. I love those colors, but not sure how you use them. Hello from Oklahoma. Good evening, Liz, or Anne. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Hello, Anne. Sonic, can you use these paints for furniture and then spray them with water to blend? Yes. And we're going to try it tonight. I haven't had a lot of opportunity to play around with these. I did briefly, I was almost like bent. I normally have my projects here. Um, I did it on one of my windows that I recently did with the, um, owl on my, one of my earlier videos and I blended a little bit and I absolutely loved it, but I did. So I have my spray bottle. We're going to blend. We're going to see, play around. Um, and I'm going to introduce you to the last two colors. They're on like more of like the purplish color. This one is called ultraviolet. And then this one is called Maximalist. So yes, you can blend these just like you can with the clay-based paint. And they work with the clay-based paint. So 
Um, and you do need to seal them just like you do with the clay paint as well, because if you do not, um, it can be reactivated. Uh, so just keep that in mind too. All right, let's see here. Hi, Sonic, just watching the rolling pin video was so pretty. Thank you. Hey, Kathy, um, I did see the owl. I loved it. Oh, good, good. I can't wait to see what this paint is. Are they acrylic based? Um, no. So they are non-acrylic and I was trying to, I pulled up. So um, Dion from the Turquoise Iris kind of described him as like, I think you pronounce it gouache maybe. Let me see here. Gouache. So it's like a non-acrylic, wa like water-based type of paint. Now I lost you guys. Oh, here you are. I was getting really, really nervous. <laughs> <coughs> and, um, but yeah, so it's like, um, they're non-acrylic and uh, they, even on here too, it's low VOC, lead-free furniture paint. Um, yeah, let me just try to see here. Oh, my glad you guys, I've been using my readers. You will be very proud of me. But I almost grabbed them, but they're in the other room. So I have my reader case. <laughs> I definitely, for this small writing back here, I do need them. And I'm like holding it like a mile away and I still can't even see it. So basically it says do not eat <laughs> um, or put in your eyes. Um, yes. So any of that good stuff, but all right. Hey, hello. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Deb. So Debbie from LZ Lane Art Garage is on and she is actually going to be at Debbie Beards in January. So, um, Gua, is it gouache? They are non-acrylic and blend beautifully. So, um, she is actually doing a workshop there. They're kicking off the painterly paint line and, um, she plays around with it all the time because she is definitely an artist. I, she paints on canvas and does all these beautiful things. And, um, I, unfortunately, I don't like, I'm not a canvas painter, so but um, if you ever go to her page and see the beautiful things she creates on canvas, it's absolutely amazing. So, um, hey, Sherry. Hey, Joan. Hi, Amanda. Thank you all for joining. All right. So tonight I am just going to um, basically we're going to use a little white swan. I have a couple silver pieces. Again, um, we're going to add some white swan. I also brought Debbie's um, a little bit of her paint inlay possibly to put in the center. We'll see. Um, but uh, go wash, say quickly, blend it as one word. Go, oh, go wash, say, go wash, go wash. Okay, I see now. <laughs> That's what she's trying to um, help me pronounce the word. Go wash, say quickly, blend it as one word. Okay, got it. Um, these paints look very vibrant. What do you do with these? I can't figure out how to use them. Um, basically, you can blend them with, um, you can use them for all the all the things. And like squash, gouache. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> um, you can use them to basically accentuate uh, different details. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. I am going to, I'm gonna start with, I think the platter. And um, we're gonna use some white swan. We're gonna start with that. And then I am going to start blending a couple different colors. We'll see. So Debbie, since you've played around with these, do you have any suggestions for me? Um, let's go ahead and we are going to change the cameras. And let me see here. There, that's, I think, a little bit better. Okay, so what I, they are, some of the colors are very vibrant. I will admit that. Like, the love language 
is very vibrant. And so is Old Flame again. Um, but I really love all the colors and I think there's always a place for everything. And especially to, um, yes, and uh, Debbie says they're really bright and a little goes a long way. And that's absolutely correct. So Debbie Beard's um, very vibrant paint and lay, if that would be a great opportunity also to use some of these vibrant colors. So let's start by painting the base first. Let me do that. All right. Hey, Patty. How you guys? Do How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, so let's see here. So I'm using one of my favorite paint brushes, the perfectionist, and we're using white swan. So let's go ahead and get into all that detail. Um, <clears throat> so I made a post this morning, but I want to thank you all personally, you guys. I have been shooting to hit 10K on this page for, it seems, to me, it just seems forever. Like, I finally was like, am I ever going to do it? Am I ever going to hit 10K? I don't know. And, um, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to show up every day for you guys. We're going to go live. We're going to do all kinds of fun things. And on Saturday, uh, but actually Sunday morning, I looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm almost at 10K. And then I looked again, like a little while later, and I was at 10K. I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I woke up this morning and I was at 11K, you guys. So I want to thank you all. I appreciate all your love and support and like always coming on my lives, doing all the things. So I could not do this without all of you. So let's see. Oh boy, Shelly says she's great. Uh, she had jury duty starting today, but got there and we're, they were dismissed. That's that's even better. Oh my, jury duty. What is this? Um, congratulations, thanks, Cam. Um, oh, Donna says she has the same tray, so she's excited to see how it turns out. Uh, the colors are beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, I felt like it was pretty awesome, too. I had a, <clears throat> I went to a conference and at the conference, I was so inspired to, you know, I was, had never gone live before. So at the conference, they're like, start going live and um, showing up, you know, for your people, you know, go, teaching up, you know, do what you, do what you like to do. So I love teaching and um, showing different techniques. So I thought that's what I'm going to do on lives. And um, I was doing, I grew very, very quickly at first. And then things kind of stalled or something. I don't know. But it's all good. I'm very, very happy. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. So. All right, I just want to dry this a little. Oh, goodness sakes. Where did I? Oh, I'm going to grab a bag. My little Ziploc bag, you guys. You know how much I love my little Ziplocs. Aw, thanks, Ruth. She says, Congratulations. You will keep growing and growing. I hope so. I do. <clears throat> Oh, thanks, Miles. He said 11K is awesome. So very happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. I am too. Okay. So for starting out, I want to just dry this. Amanda says she needs a few of those brushes. Oh my gosh. Yes. This one is the best. You Absolutely. I don't know if there's like a little fuzz there. Hello, Kelly. I was late, had the grandchildren at dance class. That's okay. Oh, thank you. Brenda says that, um, she says, I'm a great teacher and she loves how I go step by step. 
I know, like early on, <clears throat> when I first started doing my videos, sometimes I was like, oh, I talked about this in my last video. I am not going to, um, I'm just not going to, you know, talk, talk about a step or whatever. Then I realized, you know, sometimes not everybody watches every single one of my videos. So in the end, I'm just like, you know what? Even though I talked about it on my last video, I'm still going to talk about it now. Okay. So let's see here. All right. I am going to use this to put the paint on. And we're just going to go to town. So this one I opened already because now I want to see if you guys can see it. It's... It's like, um, I'm, hold on one sec. I'm trying to think here what I, I'm trying to figure out what brush would be the best. I think I'm going to use this one. All right. Okay. So this is like the color. It's so pretty. They all are a little vibrant, but that's okay, you guys. Um, all right. I'm going to add... Just one more coat of this paint, I think, is what I'm going to do in the center here. So I just want to cover up some of these marks. Yep. And like Debbie said, this you don't need a lot because it goes a long way. And so this is like really one of the first times that I've played around with it, but just like with the clay base paints, how you can use your misting bottle and you can blend. That is exactly what I'm going to try to do today. I don't know if white and the turquoise are the best, but that's okay. Because I ended up finding this at the bins. So, and if I don't like it, guess what? We can start over. We can paint again. That's the beauty of having paint. All right. Okay. So on my video, what I realized was that when I blend it last time, I kind of, uh, some of the, the base was dry. So let's see here. The vibrancy of the colors really looks great on canvas and furniture to embellish. Oh, good. <clears throat> That's awesome. I'm gonna quick grab a drink. Okay. So do you use um, the spray bottle, Debbie? Oh. oh my gosh, did I break my spray bottle? Oh, here. I was like, did I break my spray bottle? <laughs> Good Lord. I could see myself doing that. Okay. I'm just going to go to town. All right. Oh yeah. I don't need a, it's going pretty far. Okay. So what I want to do, I'm going to first start off. I'm just going to add a little bit to the edge. That's my main goal. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't want to, here I'm blocking you guys. All right. So I, I missed it a little bit. I don't even know if I needed to do that. All right. I really like how it's like going right into all those details. Okay. That I'm liking. The Goodwills in my area use black Sharpie markers to price things. Ugh, it ruins them. Oh my gosh, that would ruin them. Why? That's terrible. Oh, that is just absolutely horrible. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to first start with this color and then we're going to go from here. Okay, guys? So, okay, so this little brush that I'm, oh, now I went over the, that's okay. Um, I picked this brush up when a while ago, actually, um, 
picked up a whole pack of these brushes. There's like, and this gets into, all right. Let's see here. So did you guys also see that Debbie painted her Christmas tree with the pink, which I thought was really cool. Oh my gosh. Kind of going out of the lines, you guys. I'm just going to add a little bit and then we're going to All right. Actually, you know what I want to do? Well, I don't know what I want to do. Okay. Okay. Let's try to add a bit of, let me just add a little bit of this color. I want to see what these, I think these are actually too close together. And you know what else I probably should have? I probably should have um, a, okay. I probably should have a water, a cup of water. I should probably tell my husband I need a cup of water. That's okay. All right, I want to add some more of the dark here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. I'm missing comments. Very spring-like colors. I prefer to just skip over winter and go straight into spring anyways. Yes, these are very spring-like co colors. I'm almost thinking I shouldn't have did this white is what I'm thinking, you guys, but that's okay. Um, where did my mouse go? I feel like I'm missing something. Um, let's see here. Her trees, turn, her trees turned out. Oh yeah. Shelly, her trees did turn out great. Okay. The good. Okay. Um, oh, the Goodwills in my area do that too, because people take off the price tags. Really? All right. I feel like I need a color. What color should I blend with this? You guys. Let's talk about a clay base paint really quick. I think the white, it's too, there's too much contrast between the white and this color. I think I need to start blending a different color. Hello. Um, oh gosh. Okay, so I think you told me how to say your name one time. Um, is it Diania? Dion? It's D-I-O-N-E-A, guys. Coral. Okay, you guys think I should do coral. I'll do coral. <laughs> I gotta find coral. I'm organizing. All right, let's see here. You wouldn't think I was organizing in here, though. But I am. Let's see if I can find coral. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to find coral in here, guys. Um, I'm wondering if we should... Okay, let's see what other colors. Or peach, okay. Driving, tuned in to listen. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey, I want to say thank you. I got your package. Oh, I don't want this color. <laughs> gypsy green. How in the heck did I find gypsy green? Um, guys, I know I have cowbell, cowgirl. Okay, what is it? I always want to call it cowbell coral. Um, thank you so much, Corey. I loved the gifts. They are turned, they were so awesome. So you guys, I have to tell you, in our group, in my membership group, we did this thing. And if we were, if we held ourselves accountable, we ended up finding, or we ended up getting um, anybody that did the, the challenge, I should say, we each sent each other some really fun gifts. So um, Corey had my name. I was very, very excited. 
Okay, I think this is looking a little better. <laughs> I was just, I didn't like that contrast. All right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right. So, Corey sent me some of the best stuff. Okay, let's blend this in. All right. Debbie, are you still on? I wanted to ask you one more thing about January. Uh, do you know what projects you guys are all doing at Debbie's place? Okay. Either nobody's commenting or the comments aren't coming through. <laughs> so let's see. I haven't received a comment in a minute. All right. Now let's go from here. All right. So what do you guys think so far? I'm kind of liking it. Okay, I'm just bringing in a little bit of that coral to the top here. Shoot. Um, I'm here. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so what I'm doing. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit. Actually, I wonder if I should just blend with the big brush. And I'm going to do it. I think that's what I'm going to do. We will be, we will all, okay, we will all do something sort of canvas art and Debbie is doing furniture. Ooh, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. That. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This did it last time, too. I swear um, we have a ghost. Okay, I like that. Ooh, I kind of like how the cowgirl coral... Wait, I gotta look at this. Yep, cowgirl coral. Okay. And then I'm going to blend that into that. Oh, I, I really like whoever said cowgirl color, coral. I like it. Tickets are still available on the turquoise, turquoise irises website. Awesome. <clears throat> well, that'll be fun. I know I really want to go, but I just oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, you guys, I'm really liking it. I like the turquoise with this cowgirl coral. I think it looks really pretty. I don't know if you guys can actually see how pretty it looks, but there's this lighting in here. Still working on the lighting, guys. All right. So I think if I was like super uber talented like Debbie, I pro she would probably draw something in the center. I'm just going to blend the colors and I'm wondering, I think this green though will be too vibrant. I wonder if I have something that I could. Oh, I wish I, oh, you know, it'd be super cool to have like a dark inlay here in the center. Do I have anything sitting here? Because I'm organizing. <laughs> so I have this whole area, like I grabbed all of my, all like my paint inlays and my, all that stuff. And 
I have it in a pile and I was going to watch TV and work on it. So let me look here. Sorry, I'm distracted. I was installing my new Roku stick so I can watch the Packer game at seven because I don't get channel 12 over the air. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Um, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but, um, so yes, I, well, let's see here. I'm just going to go to town kind of and tone this orange down. I... Am not the best blender. That would be, I need to practice more. And this is, I don't know if this is the, the best brush for blending. It gets into all the detail, but all right. I want to go. And I think I probably should let some of this dry. Okay. I'm just going to go with it, guys. I wonder if this is. I think it needs something, okay? So we're going to do a paint and lay. <laughs> and the one that I had here. Which was inspired by Debbie. All right which I, I love her inlay. So I think because it's got the yellow on there as well, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the yellow to the edges as well. So let's get this dry and then let's take this off and see. Here's how blending ends. The she added coral, cowgirl coral and is now, is now, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting a phone call. Thank God I'm I'm down here. <laughs> I don't, I have to see what that said. Um, it was silver platter syrup. by painting it white and then used the new paint for the paints and the blue, but I forgot the name. Um. Oh, we started with Dreamville. So we did start with Dreamville. Yep. 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 That's exactly what I'm doing. So I started with Dreamville. Then I grabbed the, somebody said, grab Cowgirl Coral. So I grabbed that. And we're, we're going to just see how this goes, how this rolls. Okay. Um, I'm late. What are we working on? I think you can use Magic Eraser. Oh, okay. Um, Missy, we are working on a silver platter and we are playing around with the new painterly paints, which I have, oh, good God. I don't know if, I think I got that too hot, but <clears throat> yep, we're working with the new painterly paints and I'm just going to see. Okay. And let's, I think this feels pretty dry. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, let's pull it back and we'll see what we got. What kind of impression do we got? <clears throat> oh, I pulled up a little bit of, that's okay though. I don't, that's fine. Okay, I'm liking it. What do you guys think? I think that looks good. <clears throat> my husband made me dinner and I feel like I'm getting all like <clears throat> choky uppy. I don't know how to explain it. Like, all right. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white here. So I like how that kind of accentuates that. Oh, shucks. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should have had a different, I think I should have here. Oh, this one. It looks very retro to me. <laughs> I like retro. Good. I I actually am like, I don't know where this is going, but um, I like it so far too. I wanted to add just a little bit of white around the edges just to give it. And it actually right here, it kind of cracked a little bit, but I don't mind it because you guys, I am really into, you know, all things chippy and all that goodness. All right. Okay. I think that's too much now. We got to blend this. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't be blending with white. Debbie's probably rolling around laughing at me. <laughs> Okay. Good. Okay. So I'm liking that so far. I want to add a little bit of that turquoise. I just, what I'm trying to accomplish here, you guys, is I want a little bit uh, around. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay for retro. Okay. I'm glad you guys like it. Okay. I think maybe I better. All right. What do you guys think? I was thinking one of these colors would help like on here. Do you think I should be adding yellow? Tell me that. Do you think I should be adding yellow? Yay or nay? Or maybe I should be adding pink because of the pink. I'm trying to see which one. Maybe I should be adding love language. Maybe some gold wax. Okay. <laughs> I got gold wax, guys. All right. We'll add some gold wax. That sounds like a plan. Um, all right. I love it. I love it. Tell me what to do. I kind of want to add a little bit of this color down here, too. But well, let's add some gold wax first. All right. So this is... The DIY Golden Rule, and I think I'm going to add, well, if I add the gold wax to the rim, oh, okay, everybody, everybody, okay, both, yellow, pink, yellow, yellow, and pink, do it, okay, <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, okay, so we're adding a little gold to the rim. So we're gonna do just to the rim. I like that so far. And then I think down here, we're gonna add some other colors. Oh my gosh. Debbie, you were so forceful. Do it, you say. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the gold. Okay, you guys. I don't know if you can see it because like I have to do something with this this lighting. Okay. So I'm really liking this so far. It's really bringing out all the details on the edge. I still have to figure out what to do around there. Oh, that's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. That was, oh Lord. And I took, guess what? I took the paper towel out of here. That's okay. No one's going to notice that one spot had a lot of gold. Okay. I like the gold. What do you guys think of the gold? I think it looks good because I'm lazy and I haven't done anything creative today. It makes me bossy, LOL. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. I think what I want to do. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this is 
where's my spray bottle? This is actually um, that it's Salty Kiss and Old 57. I, I don't know. I feel like, I got <laughs> I feel like Debbie, with a, not you, Debbie, Debbie Beard, the first time she was really blending and like was trying to practice blending. She talks about it and that's kind of how I feel right now. Okay. I wanted to have like a, like almost like a rim. All right. I'm just doing it. Oh, not this color. I'm going to do love language. Oh, I don't know you guys. I don't know. I really love where the paint pulled up and you could see the white. Is there any way you could pull up more paint in certain areas? I was wondering like that. I did like that. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, like that. Um, I don't know. That does look kind of fun. No, I'm not going to be able to use this again, but that's okay. Quick light shop you got a bunch of to-do projects i got a completed sweet gift oh <laughs> i love it okay use some tape okay use some tape um i'm gonna you want me to use tape okay i've never used tape before but i do actually have some we'll try to use tape Um, I have recently taken a painting class once a month and I love it. it. Teaches me about blending. You guys, I know. I actually, oh, the tape actually works kind of, it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I actually probably should be playing around with blending a whole lot more because, um, DIY paint is so fun. Yeah, I don't think it's working. <laughs> the tape's not really helping. Uh, use some tape. Okay, let's see. I'm terrible at blending, though I haven't worked at it consistently to improve. I haven't either. And I think that's where my problem lies. I think that I just need to practice more. And I think the key, too, with, um, with blending is that you do need to have... Um, some of the layers have to be, I think, dry. So I think that too. Um, but I would, I mean, honestly, like Dion is like fabulous at it. Oh gosh. To like be that good. Oh my Lord. And it just does it so naturally. If you ever watch any of her videos. Okay. All right. Now I just want to, I'm going to add, oh, masking tape. Okay. <laughs> it has to be dry and then use some masking tape. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think, I think this might be, I don't want to say a lost cause. You guys, guess what? My other screen is not there. Because that person called me. I have to learn. Uh, somebody said I need to do do not disturb. Where's my top for the white? Oh my gosh, did I drop it? I don't know where I put it. Where is my, where is my green? Okay. I don't know where I put. Okay, first of all, I don't know where my white top is. And I don't know where I put my green. Oh my gosh, I didn't spill it, did I? <laughs> I, I, I? I don't know where I put it. I was standing here the whole time, you guys. I feel like I don't see it. <laughs> hey, Anna, uh, can you wipe it back with a rag? You just gotta have to keep going and not quit because it's ugly. It's always ugly because it's 
before it's good when you first start blending. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to add a little pink. And we got, you guys, we have to find my green. What did I do with my green? Did I put the light? I don't know where any of it went. I did not want, I have no idea. I feel like I, it's like the, oh, it's like the night that I um, lost, <laughs> lost my, um, my whatchamacallit, my, uh, uh, I can't even think right now, you guys. my stamp when I was like, you guys, I, I had, I need that stamp. Okay. So we're adding, I almost like the pink cause it's bringing out the pink there. Oh gosh. Debbie says it gets, it gets ugly before it gets beautiful. What did she say? I see a blue top. Okay. You say, I see, okay. You guys, so this is what I have. I, got, I have a blue top. I have a white container but I don't have my green and I don't have my white top. <laughs> and I didn't go anywhere, did I? I was right, oh, here it is. This blending, this blending, you guys. There are two greens right by the purple. Let's see here, what did, I thought you walked away from the table. I did for a minute. Um, all right. Okay, I found it. Thank goodness. I was getting really nervous. It's the blending, you guys. This blending. You can tell me to do anything. All right. Ooh. I just feel like I need a little bit of color right around the edge to accentuate it. That's what I feel like. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm playing around with it with you guys. So you guys can tell me what you think. You're blending tops too. You're blending tops too. We all lose our whatchamacallit. <laughs> you are not a one side. I know, right? It's not that one standing up. No, I, okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, Kelly. Yeah, the day I lost uh, my stamp and it was actually stuck to the bottom of that other thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. So um, I also lost when I was like, after I had done a live, either it was a live or it was um, a, a, sh a video, but I had the Le Courier stamp and I took two of the li like little bottom pieces off the Le Courier. I found one and I could not find the other. And today as I was organizing, because I'm on a mission um, to get all organized, um, there it was stuck to, I figured it probably had to fall on the floor and get stuck to something. Okay, I don't know. I'm not liking that, but. All right, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I want, what do I feel like, you guys? Tell me. I want to do something right around the edge is what I want. That's what I want. I think. Oh boy. I Oh, this is not good. I was, okay, I'm walking away again, you guys. Uh, I think it needs to be grounded. Uh, I don't know. When I say it needs to be grounded, I, oh my gosh, that might be too much. <laughs> okay, maybe, uh-oh. I think I shouldn't have did this. I think black is probably not the color I want to blend with, even though I thought that I wanted it. 
because I wanted to add a little dimension around the edge here. Bad move. Okay, use a fluffier, bigger brush and add some water. Got it. <laughs> I'll use a fluffier, bigger brush and I'm gonna add some water, not black. <laughs> oh, Anne, I need you in my life. She loves organizing as much as she loves thrifting. Oh boy. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I must be shedding. There's like here, there. All right. I shouldn't have added black. That was a bad thing. Do not add a darker color. Okay, guys? No. Okay. I think I'm going to add some coral. <laughs> I'm glad you guys can all learn. blend with yellow. I'm going to blend with coral first. Okay, guys? I'm going to bring some of this back, the coral back. I'm going to try to bring back the coral. So I think that's what we need. We need some coral back in our lives to kind of bring it back to neutral. This is a lot. I think I'm gonna have to watch Dion or Debbie. All right. A floofier brush. Oh, shucks. Okay. Well, now I'm losing. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. What time is it? Oh, shoot. Okay. So I added that. I got it back to some normalcy. <laughs> okay. Slap on a dab of yellow, squirt it in, and blend. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm listening to Brenda. I'm going to slap on a, some little yellow and blend. Okay. Oh, shoot. Now look what I did. <laughs> oh, shoot. I think maybe I, think I need a little bit more. See what it does. All right. I think I need a bigger brush. Okay. So I listened to all of you. I added the yellow. I'm going to play around with this more after I'm done, just so you guys know. Because I feel like, I almost feel like some of the this cowgirl coral, like the pretty color, it went, um, it almost went peach. Oh my gosh, that is the new color, you guys. The new color for, um, for this year, according to, um, the pan or whatever it's called, the color of the year. Oh my, that looks a lot better. I think I just need a little bit more yellow here. Yeah, stop. Oh, stop, then blend. Now squirt. <laughs> before arriving or whatever end crap. Oh my God, you guys are killing me. <laughs> you want me to stop? I was going to add a little more yellow here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am going to just add a little bit more and then I'll stop, okay? I just want to add a little bit more and then I'm going to stop. Oh my gosh, you guys are like me. The new color of the year is so 80s peach. Panatone or Pantone. Is that what it is? Yeah, thank you. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. There. I think I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let this dry. I'm not so, so happy with it, but this actually, oh shoot. 
yellow, yellow there. Oh my gosh, now I did it. Okay, I'm stopping. All right. Um, and guess what? I have no other screen because when they not they called, it knocked me off. So let's see here. We're, we're gonna just raise you guys up. All right, let's see. It's not bad. Okay, let's see. Once the plate becomes full with paint, then you will have to stop. <laughs> I am going to let this dry. Number one, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take a step back because it's the first time I was practicing blending. I actually really, you know what I really like? I really like the turquoise. I like the, the edge, the turquoise with the gold. I like that with a little bit of the peach. Oh, I say peach, but the cowgirl coral. I think there was too much water on here and it was blending too much. Uh, I'm going to work with it. I'm working with it and I'll let you guys know how I do. We can always start over. This is a great learning experience, but I am like still obsessed with these colors and all right. Seriously though, I did a painting yesterday and I spent hours on the body of the dark snow. It can be such a pain. Yes. Especially when you guys, I don't do a lot of blending. <laughs> you got it. Yes. I like blending peach colors with kissing blues. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, see, because you guys, I actually grabbed, I grabbed love language. So I think the difference between these or what I've noticed so far as I was blending is, and what I read about that other type of paint is that these are more opaque. And I think it even actually says opaque color. So I think they blend a lot easier than, um, like they almost intermix so much easier. So maybe that's what I have to practice with too. We can all learn along with you, right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, love language would be pretty. Yes, I added a little bit of that. I was liking, okay, I'm not, I almost actually flipped it down and I was gonna play around with it again. Um, they blend so good. They really do. That's what I was realizing. Um, <laughs> Susan says, I try to organize. It just doesn't work out. I make more of a mess than when I finally get it all organized. I can't find nothing. Yes. Yes. I have the same issue. Free Spirit says, so I shoot for an organized mess then I can still find things. Yes. Yeah, so I have been like organizing like crazy. Um, it is, it's just been taking a lot of time. I, it's, it's kind of a chaotic mess right now. So, uh, that's why when I said I can't get to my paint cause I have stuff sitting in front of it, but all right, I am definitely going to be playing around with painterly more. And actually you guys, I really do like how the yellow blended. I really do. I'm just going to let this dry though. I will take a photo and I will post it tomorrow um, and I will blend a little bit more. So I'm going to go wash my brushes and peckers are going to be on guys. Hopefully they win. Um, let's all shoot, say, come on, love, throw some touchdowns, um, organized chaos. Yes. It, oh, oh, I have a lot going on and I have to, um, what I am trying to organize is that I have my new paint line and I want it all in here. And so I have to, I moved, like everything got strategically moved. And so when I moved it, I'm like, oh, I got to clean everything. And I have to wash, I have to wash the windows. Do I really need to wash the windows? Yeah. In my mind, I needed to wash the windows. <laughs> so, I was washing windows when I had to move something in front of it. And just, oh my gosh, it just, oh gosh. Oh, anyways. Well, you guys have a great night. We will see you Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure, but I actually I don't know. I was going to show you. I have these really cool tall trees and I, they're made out of something. And I thought they would look really cool um, somewhere in my house, like on my kitchen table or something. So I might do that. All right. Well, you guys have a great night and I'm headed to watch the Packer game in the living room. Bye. All right, let's see.